Hey guys, this is James with Fish Sticks TV, and we're going to go ahead and open up the Crystal. Well, my trigger system is the Crystal Series. So it is the Crystal Series 36, and we're going to get opening it up right now. So that's what it looks like right there in the box. Just kind of opened up a few of the hinges. Uh, give me one second, I'm trying to get to the other side here. Man, that thing looks amazing. I'll go ahead and get it out of the box and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I got it out of the box and this thing is actually beautiful. Um, when I say it's a crystal series, that's exactly what they mean. So I got it turned the way that um, I would have it set up in my in my uh, tank. First, it'd be over here. I'd have uh, it's set up for two sock holders. And the way my system's going to be plumbed, I'm only going to have one drain and one return. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one sock holder and, uh, you know, hold out on the second one. So, but, um, yeah, it's got, it's got a little bit of everything. It's really nice. I can't believe it. Uh, it's got the, the hole right in there. Has an extra lip down there like this one. So, for example, I can take can take this out. And there's a couple crate egg crates there. One of them could go down there, and uh, right right in here. You can get some more of this. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put floss. I'm gonna put floss in here, or uh, or something like that. So, but um, this feels pretty good. It's kind of it's kind of like um, when they make the Danner Mag 12s. It kind of feels like that material there when they when they put the uh, sponge on it. And there's the, uh, the turnpipe area, but it is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a very nice size. It should work perfectly for my 75 gallon. I mean, this should work good for 150 gallon. So. I'm glad I actually, you know, spent the money I did to get one of these. Um, on my 150 gallon, I was, uh, I, I, what I did is I bought a 40 gallon breeder tank from Petco. Uh, it was like a dollar a gallon. And I bought some, uh, what is it, plexiglass from Home Depot. And I cut it and I made the, uh, the slits like these. And I put them in and I did them, you know, I did them a lot different on this side. I had I had one one here, one taller one, one here, and then I had the one here and the one here for it to, to go up and under. And, uh, I, you know, I thought I did a real good job. I siliconed it all. But what I did notice is when I got all the water in there and everything like that, these things bowed so bad from the current of the water. Everything bowed. And, uh, like, these things just bowed really bad. So, you know, I knew that it was going to be a it was going to be a problem at some point and the last thing that you want to be a problem is your is your you know your filtration that holds water so i was kind of worried that those were going to pop off or fall down into the sump and things like that but um, it worked and uh i wouldn't do it again though i wouldn't do it again if i did it right i would use real glass and do it that way but, um, you know, I really like the idea of the trigger system. It's plexiglass. It's the acrylic, excuse me, not plexiglass, acrylic. So, you know, once everything's bonded together, I mean, it's bonded together. It's, it's not going nowhere. I mean, I wouldn't even mind having an acrylic tank, but um, I, prefer, I prefer the glass tanks over acrylic. But for a sump... I definitely uh, prefer the acrylic over a glass sump, and it's just uh, it's just what I prefer. So I'm glad this company came out with, uh, with something like this. Um, you know, in the saltwater community, we needed we needed something good like this. I personally think that they're pricey, 
and uh, I paid three hundred and nineteen dollars for this one right here. And I bought it through uh, BRS. But you know, after looking at it and the manufacturer, the way it looks, put together and stuff, you know, it's three hundred dollars. But I just, you know, my tank system was four hundred dollars. Tank and stand, and that's brand new. So I mean, just to buy this sump was, you know, almost like buying another tank. Um, I'm sure this is going to last for a very long time. But just to mechanically filtrate, I, I think it's a little expensive um, on that end, especially when you buy, you know, a two hundred and forty dollar. Apex Junior, you buy a $200 skimmer, um, $150 pump. I mean, it, it all really starts adding up to that mechanical filtration. And um, I think that uh, I think the price should come down a little bit. But what they're looking at is, hey, if it floods, if it cracks, it breaks, these are built good. So uh, you won't have to worry about that. You won't have to worry about losing a $1,000 system plus. So that's where they're getting their pricing from. 300 bucks versus losing over 300 bucks. You know, over double that. But, uh, well made. Definitely say that. Um, price wise, I, I think it's a little on the high side. If you ask me what the prices of these should be, um, again, they're not a fish tank. They hold any, no other purpose except being a filtration system. So it's not like you could tear these apart and, uh, you know, do a bunch of stuff and water down the market in fish tanks or anything. But, uh, you know, 225 is what they should be, in my opinion. I think 225 for a trigger system. And you got to remember, this is a 36, uh, trigger 30, 36. So that means this holds only about probably 30 gallons of water. I mean, this isn't, you know, 50-gallon water system here or not like that. You start getting into that, then I can understand three. $400, but for a mere 30 gallons, a couple hundred bucks. That's what it should be. I mean, we all know what the socks cost. You know what I mean? We all know what the other pieces cost, so it gets pricey. But 319 I bit the bullet. Um, I think I'm complaining about the money now, but two years from now, I don't think the price is going to matter. I'm going to be happy I have it, and uh, there's no issues, and um, I'm glad I made the decision I made. So that's my review on the Trigger Crystal 36, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them, and we'll talk about it. But I'm trying to get a really good view for you guys back and forth so you can see it, how it looks. This thing will fit in a 55-gallon stand. It'll fit in a 75-gallon, 150-gallon, 125-gallon. So it'll fit in all that. Uh, this part right here, from here to here, I mean, that has to almost be a foot. Almost. That's what I'm guessing there. From the refugium, from here to here, um, I think it's the same. It almost has to be a foot. And this is just a little bit tighter, but that has to be nine inches at least so and before I bought this my question was what's the difference between this and the ruby the ruby red and that was the difference just instead of a clear top they made a clear series um, they do have the ruby series which they did the ruby red to help keep down on um, algae stuff like that so that was the only difference the ruby red just looks prettier with the with the red acrylic but this is exactly the same as the ruby series or the sapphire or the uh emerald it's just clear so and that's why i got it it was cheaper i could have got the ruby red it was already you know even more expensive for being the same exact thing except ruby red acrylic so you know i picked this up for like i said 319 because i'm not i'm not in it for looks this thing is going to be the dirtiest part of the tank so why give a crap what it looks like? You know, when you get all your filtration, you get that water splash, you get everything going, it's, this is the prettiest it's going to look right now. After that, this is a turnover. So I don't care about ruby, emerald, or sapphire. <laughs> but no, awesome system. Definitely, guys, um, advise you to look into them uh, out of the trigger systems. 
the uh, Crystal Series is the more affordable. And, you know, I say go for it. You, you can't beat it. Go ahead and go for it. Um, let BRS TV, let BRS know if you buy it from them. Fish Sticks TV recommended it. And uh, they'll see what they can do for you. Cool. Have a good day.